Right, uh, let's do a little bingo with Will Bass. It's time to witness the wetness. This is Innuendo Bingo. Okay, let's play the game. Right. So you hear some clips. Ready, you hear yeah. some clips from yeah. TV and radio. Yeah. I'm actually really thirsty. I'm just going to quick. Mm. Have a little talk first. Uh, a little amuse boost. Treat yourself. Yeah. Amuse okay. boost. <laughs> Posh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. So lots of water in the mouth. Really as wet yeah, as we can get it. I think. Okay. So mm. let's start with the chase on ITV, which is uh, always seems to be on in Bingo these days. And fine. Mm-hmm. It's <laughs> ready. Mm-hmm. Ready to go. Mm. Right. Over on the chase, a very surprising question for the contestants here. Well done. Lauren McCall's the right answer. Chaser has put. Goes right also with Lauren McCall. Here's your next question. Pussy and crack are varieties of what tree? (laughs) Bradley, of course, they're talking about willow trees. Pussy willow and, of course, the crack willow. (laughs) Pussy and crack... Of varieties of what tree? <laughs> They're really mm. out to get him on that. Show. Yeah, they are. Whoever mm. makes the question, I actually like, yeah, is I, filthy. I actually is know who does the questions. Do I, someone I know. Are they a wrong one? Yeah, her name's yeah. Helen. Yeah. But despite that, she's wrong. <laughs> um, she, she she likes to try and catch him out. Mm. Okay, next it's Britain's best walks. I don't know about you, but one of my favourites with Julia Bradbury. Mm. Somebody really needs to remind Julia that her microphone is switched on at all times. Up ahead, I've arranged to meet Chris O'Donnell, who runs a hawk experience just around the corner from here, near Brackenbottom. Hi, Chris. God, that's a monster he's got there. What a beast. (laughs) (laughs) Now, well, I will remind you there's a no-hands rule, so if the water's going to come out... Yes, Sorry, come come just on. meant I was just dribbling. Oh, God, that's a monster he's got there. <laughs> Always on the microphone, Julia. Mm. Now we're going to BBC One's new afternoon drama, Father Brown. Is that come it? On, is that come it? Is that on, it? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here joining one of the characters talking about staying in somebody else's basement. Now, Chris, you've stayed in my basement before, haven't you? It's not how it sounds, Will. You have. He's got like a sort of large... What happens down there? Large disco room in the Mm, basement. It is a disco room of sorts. How long are you in there for? It's not even really a basement, (laughs) is it? Well, anyway, you've stayed in mine before. Did it bear any resemblance to this one on Father Brown? Should I step in? Don't you dare. We always pull out the old Tutankhamen stunt when there's a dreary contestant we want to get rid of. What? Well, I'm fed up staying in her dingy boarding house with cold showers, disgusting food and a faint smell of pussy. (laughs) (laughs) No, very different. Wow. Very different. Look at that. You got me right in the leg. Yeah, sorry, mate. I'll lay him up. Straight in the leg there. (laughs) Nothing like my basement, actually. Disgusting food and a faint smell of pussy. Okay, water, please. (laughs) Next, to one of our favourite clips from last week. We're going over to BBC Radio 4, and the continuity announcer is just telling us what's coming up a bit later on, on Radio 4. Here we go. Then in front row at 7.15, the BAFTA-nominated Dev Patel discusses his role in the film Lion. The sports writer Alison Rudd reviews Tina and Bobby, a new three-part ITV drama series based on the life of the football legend Bobby Moore. And why the 1980s vocal harmony group Harvey and the Ballwangers. The Ballwangers have reunited. <laughs> Just a slight slip. Harvey and the Ballwangers. The Ballwangers have reunited. <laughs> it happens, you know. It's life. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Good, good. They sound awesome. I mm. want to check out some of that. Harvey stuff. and the Ballwangers. <laughs> Water, please. <laughs> I got you right in the face. That was a good one. Mm. Okay, back to the chase on ITV. And one of our favourite clips from last week. We always say that on the multiple choice rounds, the answer is never C, apart from this time. Uh, Jeanette, for seven grand, the chase is on. Good luck. Here comes your first question. Which of these is a crustacean regarded as a delicacy in eastern China. A, hairy crab, 
be very clever. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Um, oh well. What I'm happened? Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was great. I think I've tried that. <laughs> it's good. Yes. Yeah. It's a delicacy. It's good. Hey, hairy crab. What's that? <laughs> Be very clever. <laughs> even even Bradley was like, uh, seriously. Yeah, you could hear him going with these questions. Yeah. Come on, Helen. Give him some water. Water, please. On any other bingo with Will Best on Radio One. An absolute classic now from Channel 4's Come Dine with Me. And here's something I'm certain you've never seen on television before. Oh, God, a bunch of flies have just flown out of my cabbage. <laughs> oh, they're all flying out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on, come dine with me. Yeah. Oh, God, Delicious. a bunch of flies have just flown out of my cabbage. She should win for that, if yes. that's the entertainment. I hope she won the, the thousand yeah. pounds. Next. What, what is going on with her cabbage? I don't know. <laughs> that's Why has she got flies yeah. in it? She's let it get to, um, you know. Give that a wash. Yeah. Also, please, as we go to Radio 4. Mm. <laughs> you okay, Chris? I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> you okay, Will? Mm, 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 mm. mm. I say, your hair has stayed immaculate throughout. Mm, mm, mm. That's good. On Radio 4, a startling turn of events in their afternoon play. All about the life and times of Florence Nightingale. Madam, are you sure you you know what you're doing? I slid my fingers between her lips. Mm, mm, mm. And finally... Oh, Florence. Finally over to the Formula One on BBC One. Mm. But I think it's the Formula One anyway, but it, it sounds wonderful. Fabulous question, because I think he has to look over his shoulder, he has to look in the mirror, Sebastian that is, yeah. and well, not say, hang on a second. He's looking forward to he, he, the in front look, of him. Look, he, he's locked up his braking, he's made mistakes, he got blown off today by a young guy. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Inya the Bingo with Will yeah. Best. Did you enjoy? Yes, thank you very much. Well, dance, dance, dance lovely. at the weekend on Sunday oh. on ITV. Thanks very much, oh, Will.